Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Princeton Tigers and the Arizona Wildcats. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Wildcats are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, play at your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Secondly, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. And finally, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. From downtown, goes. Both teams looking to get things going here. The ball goes out of play. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. From three-point range. Makes it. Trying to go inside. Number 43. Fakes the shot. Tries to get the D to bite. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's the fake. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. Nat is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. They look to get it to the inside. Great play to take that to the basket. Dumps it in. Number four handles the feed. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Davis receives the ball. They stripped him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Trying to feed inside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And it's stolen away. And back they come the other way. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Number four handles it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now the high screen. The center receives the pass. Obvious foul. 
Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. They're working around the arc. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He tries the three. Gets it to go. He uses the shot fake. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. The alley-oop back to the weak side, and he slams it home. Great diagonal pass. Throw the ball to the help side. Bring it out. Look at this guy. He's been beating up a little bit. A lot of courage and heart playing. Looks like the Lone Ranger. Ooh. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Trying to draw the foul. The lay -in. For two, in and out. Puts it up, looking for contact. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, the good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Let's check out this replay, Brad. On the outside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. They've left them completely alone. Number 43 with the fake on the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the long-range bomb. He takes it away. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Thinks about the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart.
Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. Fakes a jumper. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 50. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed it, baby. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. The Wildcats go to the line for the first time in this game. He can't get one to fall. The push of that basketball, help one another, communicate. He throws it up from downtown. There was no doubt about that one. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Double team now. Bad angle. Stolen away. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Got a Ooh, nice screen. They get that rejected. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. <laughs> Dump it inside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. A whistle and a foul. A coach not happy in the sideline. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Too physical. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Inside. If not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. There's just great hustle and great defense with the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all.
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the outside. Here's a double team. He wants a three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Kicks it out. There's the screen up on top. Let's it fly. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. They're working around the perimeter. From left of the circle, way off target. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Dribble gives it up. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Got the high pick. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. An open guy in the post and went the other way. Jumper! Knocks it down. What a great touch. Good baseline drive. Spread his body while he puts some pressure. Up and inside! Gave it up in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Unloads a three. Tickles a twine. Hey, Brown, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the angle. That's good. <laughs> Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Look at that spacing. Uh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Oh, yes. The replay's not even enough for this one. Picks off the pass. With a deep shot from outside. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Dick, how's he working in defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help sock. For two. Great play to take that to the basket.
the skip pass is picked off. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. Knocks it down. Got an open look for the shot. Gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Moving it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dude. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Watch this again. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. That's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Looking for the foul. Up, easy one. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He's got the man on the high post if he can get it there. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He's got a high post flasher. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Dick down in the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes away the pass. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Shot clock is dead. perimeter on the dribble gives it up that's been moves not going to work against the defense I'll like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin at the half the tigers are ahead by five well, let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half There's a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in the first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. 
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. On the outside. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. Great shot. There's the trap. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Here they go, into the break. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Time to pick up the defense here now. Moving it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Momentary look from three-point land. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Count that as a personal foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Got it. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. He lets it fly. Good. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Let's watch the move as he works his man and not a fadeaway jumper. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Too much. That's a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Got a man in high post. In the post. Looking for contact. Hey, when a team's hot, they're hot, baby. The defense putting in a great effort, but it's just not getting it done. There's the pick. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Look at that spacing. The small forward with the ball. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes for the ball handler. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying 
get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work it around the perimeter. The crowd continues to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Way off target. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? He makes the shot. Gets the ball on the outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. With a deep shot from outside. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. On the outside. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now he faces up on the low block. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Jumped in front to take it away. Hey, as nice as that dunk was, the mascot may have stolen the show in that play. He was the most excited person in the arena. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He lets it go. Rims out. And he scores despite the half. He fouled him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. He hits the shot. Watch here. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushing that basketball. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Spin moves not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For three, makes it. The center gets the pass. There's a double team waiting there. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Dump it inside. The shooting guard takes the feed. And now they'll bring it up. Up fake. For two. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Intercepted. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Off target. Up and in. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen ball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got an open look if he wants it. Unloads a three. He nails the bucket. The Wildcats are up by four. Picks off the pass. inside he intercepts it they're working around the perimeter on the outside Dickey's really sticking to his man defense and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot finger roll they scored seven in a row Great defense. On the inside. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 55 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Good job defensively. They just won't give many open. Pressure on the basketball. The small forward takes the pass. They'll work it around the arc. He attempts the trifecta. Nice shot. away the pass playing for the steal in the post and he didn't get it I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play and now he's embarrassed this whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. All right, thanks, Erin. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough.
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gave it up. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The shot won't fall. Arizona are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. They're working around the perimeter. The partner, this one could go right down to the wire. At this point in the game, Block management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Buries it. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Pump fakes. Coming inside. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Hand on the shot clock. Off the rim and no good. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. Strips the ball. They get it out into transition. Arizona have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Working it around the perimeter with the fake. High post screen. So effective, that screen. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Three-pointer. Gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He doesn't get the hoop. Jumped in front to take it away. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense does all. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Sets the screen for his teammate from three-point range. He makes the shot. Picks off the lazy pass with a long bomb. Goes up for two. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is.
he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from downtown. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. The lay-in. Put a show on, man. Great boy, and we still in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Steal. Fake. Up and inside. Got some room. He unloads. In and out. Ooh. Tough luck. Gets it back out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the deuce. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Rims out. Shot clock is dead. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick. Isn't it a clock management here? They have the foul and over to stop the clock, Brad. Yet another foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. He goes to the line. Just like in practice. Makes his second shot. Give yourself a chance with a score here. Coach calls for a timeout. He wants to talk some things over. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. At the foul line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Hits his second. T.O. called. Hey, we got a board burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Well, 
we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dip. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. He can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, bro, why don't more guys use it? Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are run and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Second shot is good. seen him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Dick, you said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Arizona finally pulls this close one out. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.